What's up, partners? It's your boy Spoon33. Welcome to Alan Wake 2. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alan Wake was one of my favorite games growing up on the uh, Xbox 360. Bro, it was so good. So good. Legitimately, I don't get scared easily. Alan Wake had me a little jumpy at times. Now, Alan Wake 2. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I wanted to get it at least started on Halloween, but you know it is what it is. Your boy works a lot. <laughs> so either way, you're gonna get it in November. And hopefully finish it November. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate you and everything you do. Let's get into this game. I can't wait. I'm very excited, man. Let's get it. to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Yeah. <laughs> 
source of the stuff. I need to finish this. I'm done. I'm done. What the fuck? Shit. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Invitation. We got a sister? What up, sis? Look at her. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Oh, we got maps? Okay, okay. We got epic achievements as well. <laughs> I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. I gotta hold it. I was like, why is the map not coming up? I hold it. This is gonna give me a little, Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. A map? I don't remember a map in the first one. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna die a lot, aren't I? In game. Goals. Alright. Hey! Yo! Here. What up? Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. 
Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Damn gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Right there with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Well, I'm sorry, Mulligan. Well, I'm sorry, Mulligan. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, wait me. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. You didn't push me out the way, Dan. I realize there were choices here. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Case board side the mine place. Oh, we got case boards. I'm not going to survive well. The mine place. Whoa. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Wow. Well, this is kind of cool, actually. You want to try to make me think? I'm not here to think. Heart removed. Large chest wound bloated. Stab wounds bloating, bruising. Jeez, these cold peoples are crazy. All body experience bloating. Yeah, it's a cult. It's a cult. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Oh, it doesn't pause. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Oh, that's going to be great. I'll never look at the case board. <laughs> you guys know me. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Well, the story here is going to get real deep. From now, what I'm understanding is I get to play as Anderson and Alan Wake. Somehow going back and forth like a GTA type scenario. Which both sides would give me a heart attack equally. You okay to jump down? I'm not. Oh. You ready to cut yourself off, sir? I'm not. Pause. <laughs> I was elected to play, not to read. I'm gonna look up everything. I'm just kidding. Maybe not. How does nature give you a headache? Relax. Nature can't give you a headache. What's up here? Hold on. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. 
got it. Oh damn, that's pretty cool. Yeah, see, we're gonna go exploring. I'm not gonna go exploring. Never mind. I'm just gonna turn around because it's making me turn around. Understood. The FBI should she have a pistol? All I see is a flashlight, homie. Which we're gonna need. That flashlight will save my life. Save my life. Beanie's on the ground. Look at you looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. The same beanie on the ground. Unless that's a pair of gloves. Is that a kid's lunchbox? Oh, those are Easter eggs. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Alex Casey lunchbox. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mind place. Wow. Pistol. Okay, so I got to make sure I do a lot of exploring to upgrade my weapons. Got it. Because everything's in the mine place. Map, case board. And weapon upgrade. All right. He's telling me I have two because I found those two, but I can't. I just want to make sure I, you know, I'm looking at the right place. It's telling me I still can't do anything. All right, we're fine. We're fine. This place is awesome. This is what's in her mind. So my mind is food. <laughs> this story's going to get deep, bro. Let me out. All right. Please don't fall. That's how broken ankles happen. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. That's how we feel. We're making jokes, Damn. right? Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Witch's hut? Who's naming it? Oh, I'm gonna get lost in these woods. I'll be over there in a sec. I'll be back in a second. Roger. That's what I just said. I'm gonna get so lost. I'm gonna die violently in these woods, aren't I? I have no sense of direction, guys. That's the murder side. Let's wait. And talk to these guys first. Or do we? Bro, there's a lot going on. This is what I do. I explore. Probably should be in here without consent, but screw that. I'm FBI. FBI, open up. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Well, that's not creepy at all. All right. I've already got the chills. First drawing water line. Caldera. Call of duty. Alright, you got symbols all over the place. Alright. Triangles. Triangles did it.
Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Jeez. Okay, guys, I had to redo this scene. Ritualistic. Because your boy... <laughs> the blur edit on the other one was not working. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Investigations, yeah, 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 yeah. So then, so I gotta remember it was the this one the right next to the body. Strap bruising yep. on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside Button. stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. All right. And then we had to go do this. Move over here. Kind of put them in order. Oh. Zoom out a little bit. There you go. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Yeah. You would have hated how long it took me to find how to do that the first time. <laughs> Alrighty. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Yep. Multiple killers? And then we gotta go over here. They got the cooler. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. In, in the Someone tripod. left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? All right. I think that was everything. Oh. Okay, board. For later. Oh, that's right, the victim. That's right, right, right. We gotta go talk to people. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. So we talked to him. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Yeah, okay, then we go here. The victim. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago.
Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Ah, I'm already missing evidence for the killer. For later, for later. So even now, I don't remember the rest of the investigation. Okay, hold on. Large amount of blood on the there. table. There. The victim died here. I always forget one. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. You do that. So, yeah, we had to... Is this one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. We had to redo this because of the nudity factor. It is kind of creepy, though. The old bloated dude didn't have no draws on. Yes. There's a piece of paper on the ground. <laughs> he had his piece all out. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. 
Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the Earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. Hey, you made it back. I used to Good. love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot, just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. <laughs> 